Hi, this question comes to me again from Allison P. And the question is, what are my thoughts on Cape Aloe? My thoughts on Cape Aloe are, I'm used to using a regular aloe vera plant. I believe in the R Pure Aloe product. It's not my product, but I've done research on a lot of different products and found that to be the most successful because they use the whole leaf process. The Cape Aloe is actually a little bit different of a plant than a standard aloe vera plant. It usually comes from South Africa and it's a larger plant. And I think that there's some very, very interesting benefits to the Cape Aloe. I don't really haven't seen a lot of research and haven't really tested uh, the different sources of the Cape Aloe to see if there's any residue, any type of pesticide residue, etc. But I think it's a very interesting plant and I think that it needs further research. I'm not saying that it's not effective. Uh, I think that the Cape Aloe plant is an effective supplement, uh, but we still haven't, I still haven't seen enough research that compares to the organic whole leaf processing of the R Pure Aloe in the liquid form. Uh, also, I'm kind of weary about putting aloe in capsules because of the drying methods that are used. Sometimes when you use certain drying methods to put uh, aloe in capsules, it's like apple cider vinegar, putting apple cider vinegar in capsules. You, you use a, lose a lot of the energy signatures that were contained in the water. I, you know, water is one of the things that I think is the most important um, element on the planet. And especially when you're looking at aloe vera plants and being 90% water with, with mucopolysaccharides and ace man and a lot of constituents contained in that water. It's like the human body. If you take the water out of it, what do you have? So um, if, you, if you can find a liquid source of the Cape Aloe or get it at fresh without it being in a capsule form, I would definitely go with that. Otherwise, I think Cape Aloe is a, is a fairly significant product to continue research on and to monitor as far as the research and development goes and as far as any excess research uh, is performed in the future. Thank you.